Um, we are going to Macron because we were we were here checking up on Kenneth Height uh, yesterday, and we saw now this happened. So this is where the meteor or the star fell, and it left a massive hole. Uh, oops. And we just, we ran through and we grabbed the first, um, God damn it. Can you guys hear me now? I'm sorry. It looks like, uh, mic turned off for a second. Uh, we ran through and grabbed the first bonfire here. And I'm just going to keep saying bonfire because it just feels right. Here's one example of a pretty character on Elden Ring. Here, let me check it out. can do it. That works for me. Yeah, we can do that. For some reason, the game is running at like 5 uh, FPS. I don't know why. On my end? I see that there are, um, we do have some drop frames. Um, but that it shouldn't be it shouldn't be making that much of a difference um, on video yeah um, I'm seeing on the stream oh the video you sent okay I was gonna say because we have a little bit of drop frames but I'm looking at it it looks like it was only in the beginning of the stream when we took off um, yeah I just I just kind of um, peeked at it but I'll uh, I'll check that out and we could uh, see about making a pretty character when I say pretty, I don't just mean face, though. And um, what I'm gonna say may not may not be cool with everyone, but I'm a little bit more about the body. Uh, faces obviously are important, but I mean, I can't make myself a uh, like you know a thick, chesty, large, reared. Um, warrior chick and that's what really hurts you know it's kind of like the the thing with um i don't know if you ever played monster hunter you can make like pretty characters um and like they are it's believable that they would be like a you know like a monster hunting chick um but they kind of have like no boobs no butt they do have huge thighs though so i appreciate that that's actually pretty cool I mean, I get you. I want large booba too. <laughs> Cause like, I'm not one of these guys who's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, hey, can you make some commissions of my character so I can masturbate to him? Nah, we're not, we're not that type. Ooh, we got one of those just like that. You don't have to do a dungeon for it. Um, well, that's kind of just like, a, that's like a Final Fantasy 14 thing. I've noticed a, a lot of people, look at that guy. He thought he could block me. Oh, he, he did block me. Block that, filthy casual. Hey, 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 easy. I don't know, the 14 fan base, um, I have like a love-hate relationship with them, you know? Like, I don't hate them, but there's like so many things about the fan base that I just like do not like. Because like, it's just weird. It's like how weird people get and it might just be an MMO thing. I don't think it's like specifically Final Fantasy. Yeah. I'm saying this as somebody who's just talking about, you know, how I want my character to look more sexually appealing. Can you say hypocrite? No. Um, I think there's a there's a there's a way to do it without coming off like the creepiest fucking person. That being said, people who, you know, just want pretty characters, I don't think that's a problem. It's just leave it at that, though, you know? 
then people start using mods. I actually saw, um, like, it was like a month ago, but I saw my first modded character um, in game. I thought it was crazy. Um, th this, it was, it was a, um, an Audi, uh, Aura, wah, um, chick with, like, ridiculous chest proportions. Like, you're not even trying to hide that. Like, maybe it's a mod. No, it was, it was pretty, pretty obvious. Face is still the most important thing to me. Um, yeah, I suppose, since there's not any glamouring options, because you're going to be covered in armor, um, if you want to, you know, be good. What the fuck? Because armor really does, like, help out. Whoa! Hey, I needed that. Oh, man. I feel like our second playthrough, we're gonna just not blow through everything. Like, I wanna do a faith build. I wanna do, um, and faith, like, also, like, incantations. Um, I don't know, I feel like you could almost make, like, a dragon build with just, like, dragon um, abilities, because I've seen a bunch of them, and they look nasty. Um, that Scarlet Rot ability is, like, that's all people do in PvP. Um, but I also want to do a spellcaster build. We're like, yeah, we might have like a, like either a, a short sword or something, but, um, it, it'll be very, very lightweight overall. You're done, son. As far as physical appearance is concerned, yes. I'm, um, I don't know. I feel like I like it all, but if I have to sacrifice one thing, like, I could just put a mask on, like a character, but if they're like, if their proportions are good, yeah. Um, oh, before that, sorry, I didn't even see that. Um, but I mean, even when it comes to girls in real life, a pretty face is more important to me than boobs and butt. Uh, yeah. I agree. Real life is different, I feel like. Real life, I feel like, there's, I mean, before that, like, if we're going real life, I would say, like, I have to get along with them, personality-wise, first. Um, but, yeah. I feel you. What are these silver tear husks? Hey guys. You're done, son. Both of them. God damn it. I don't like when the auto target just decides because you're closer to another enemy, you're all of a sudden like moving over there. Um, yeah, that's why I said in terms of physical appearance alone, uh, personally trumps most things, but all I ask for is that she not be fat. <laughs> Honestly, I actually don't mind. Um, I, I'm like, I go for thicker chicks. I don't go for like, like fat, fat, but like, I feel like everyone has like a different um, idea of what fat is, because like, I'll be talking to girls I work with, or I'll be talking to friends, and, like, it's crazy the, like, the discrepancy there is in society in general, like, with the term thick, because there's people that refer to themselves as thick that are either, in my opinion, not thick, they're, they're skinny, um, or thinner, um, and then there's some that are definitely not, like, they, they're they borderline obese. They describe themselves as thick. Like, it's just one of those things. I guess it's just preference. Ooh, Great Shield Soldier's Ashes. Er, is that the guys that we're fighting right now? Oh, you saw me? Hey, you stopped that. But yeah. 
No, I feel you, man. And I'm not, like, for anyone. I'm not trying to say, like, I have a problem with, uh, like, different body types or whatever. Um, I'm just speaking my personal experience. And I, like, a lot of people say, like, oh, well, society, you know, made it, um, made guys think, like, skinny girls are attractive. But I, for the longest time, um, even as a kid, I could remember being attracted, you know, to body types that weren't, like, mainstream hot. And I remember feeling like there's something wrong with the way I think because of that. Um, but yeah, that's just what I'm attracted to. Like, full figured, all that. <laughs> I've seen disgusting ham planets who call themselves thick. I do. Put the fork down. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, uh, I used to be a big guy. Um, and yeah, like number one exercise to learn if you're trying to lose weight. It's not ex it's not exercise in general. It's just fork put downs. That's what it. That's the name of the game. Um, and if you're happy with the way you are, hey, do you? But it's like when people start trying to change. Uh oh, that means we're about to fight a boss, right? Yep. Um. When people are trying to change, like, societal, like, standards of beauty and stuff, like, you, you, I mean, there are some things I feel like it's ridiculous, like, in the past, like, the fact that people, uh, thought, like, stick thin, anorexic, like, skinny was, like, like, a healthy way to look, which is not. Um, but now, like, you can't really, like, just go the complete opposite and be like, hey, see this right here? This is attractive. It's like, no, I think that's unhealthy, but what do I know? I'm not a doctor or anything. I just own a computer with the internet. <sighs> Good talk. Um, all right, so just a quick recap. Is Blyde supposed to meet us down here? We spoke to EG, and he said Blyde was doing, a, like, a, a special thing, but I don't know if he's going to meet us down here. So far, I like Blyde. The only thing that makes me kind of worried about Blyde, and just doing a lot of co-op and PvP, I've found a lot of people have the Blyde set, like his armor, and that armor includes his head. So, I don't know. Some tells me either something bad's going to happen to Blyde and he's going to die. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Miss me with your bullshit. Wow, they're giving a lot of these. Um, something bad's gonna happen to Blight, I think. Um, that or he's gonna like, we're gonna have to fight him or something. And I don't want that to happen, because so far I actually like him a lot. He's a pretty cool character. His quest line um, has been pretty long though. I don't know if I would call him like straight up like our Solar equivalent, but maybe. Oh boy. Alright, well, I don't know what these are, but I'm sure they're going to be useful for crafting at some point. Haven't done a lot with crafting either. Haven't even been buying the books, because I'd rather put it in the levels. Okay, so what's going on down here? Can't quite see. Alright, anything here? I'm going to say no. Just a butterfly. Yeah, I don't care about butterflies. They can eat my ass. Okay. 
He's supposed to be in Siofa River, but I didn't see him. I don't know if I broke, uh, if I, if I sequence broke the quest line. I could show you where I found him um, after this. He's um, like right over. So if you go to this bonfire in Siofra, he's like right over here. He's kind of off on the edge. Um, speaking of, I don't know if we ever went back here. And um, we lit all the torches in this area, and I think there's also a boss somewhere up here. But we might go back to the underground after this and check. But um, I don't know if you broke the quest line if you fought Radon um, without him. If if he was there for the Radon fight, I think you're good. But I don't know. Like I'm speaking as somebody who's just kind of speculating. I have no idea what I'm doing. For all I know, I may have already fucked up this quest line because um, the the Ranny quest line. There was the guy with the hat, the the fucking asshole. Um, can't remember his name, but he gave us a potion. We're supposed to go, give to I think Nefeli, um, and I'm that's the warrior chick. I can't find her anywhere. I saw her at the um, the village where um, it's like above. The, uh, the swampy area. Um, Celibus, yeah. Um, but I don't know where to find her. And we're supposed to give her... Be wary of... Armament? W what does that mean? Um, but yeah, I can't find her. So <laughs> I don't know if... like I'm scared to progress certain parts of that quest line. I don't know if his is completely different from the Rani one. But we're kind of just playing it by ear. Um... All right, so we're going to have to use this, I think. There we go, do that. I'm going to summon Oleg. I kind of like him, even though he's an asshole. Also, I like his drip. I don't like his drip because um, that Perceptor we met in the uh, um, in that tower that gave us a hard time. Where's that same? Oh, it's you. All right, man. Oleg, get in there. Oh, like. Okay. Alright. It's just this. I can't target you. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's me! Oh, God. Get away from me. Because I know if they hit me, I'm going to bleed out. What? Get him, Oleg! Oh, this is a fucking awesome boss fight. Oh, man. Oh, damn. That is awesome. That is fucking awesome. I love this game so much. Oh shit, alright. It's not fun to be on the- Oh, it even has my Kukris! Uh, the, uh, the fucking bleed blades. Get bled out. Fuck you and your shitty drip, too. <laughs> oh, this game is so fucking cool. Wow, you suck. Oh, yeah, you mean uh, the other me. That was pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, but, yeah. Wow, that's really interesting that they even have, like, the same, like, uh, blood blades. Which, by the way, we've been doing invasions. These are a fucking lifesaver. Because if you start applying bleed between the two katanas and, like, somebody's trying to run away... They don't do a ton of damage, but if you get that bleed to proc, they will bleed the fuck out. Like, um, it's really, really good for runners, which I don't know why, like, co-opers, um, I don't want to say none of them are honorable, but they kind of just, a lot of them, like, just act like little bitches. They only want to fight together. And I've actually been summoned co-op, and then, like, you know, if we, uh, if we encounter an invader, I'll try and one, like, you know, 1v1 them, 
But I really don't like when like the host like I was trying to one v one this one guy who had like these two giant great swords, um, and he was pretty tough. He was a really good player. Um, he was just really good with his timing, and you know it was pretty even. And then like the host from like above us is like shooting him with flaming arrows. And then what I did was I just you know went over, um, and I uh, let the host fight him, and the host died to him, cause like. I don't know, I'll invade, and like, it just kind of takes the fun out of it when everyone's trying to gank the living shit out of you. Like, you'll have like two people with range while one guy with like an ultra great weapon is like, going at you. Um, no, you two, cheesing the boss with a summon, tisk tisk. unlike you, I didn't cheese the boss um, by uh, taking off by taking off all my armor and weapons before entering the room and then re-equip my weapon and bully the boss. Um, I mean, I like my summon. Oleg, I, I, uh... I have yet to find us like a summon that's as good as him. Um, but yeah, the summon is like I don't really consider that like that much of a of a thing because they almost always end up dying to like the most basic mechanics. I would never summon another player because that is like too easy. Um, but yeah, I usually summon because I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. But that might be something to consider for a uh, um, like a new. Um, like a new run where we just don't summon at all, which would be kind of interesting to see how that sort of switches things up. I mean, here, put it this way. I'm not summoning people to my game to help me beat bosses. Um, I've been summoned to people's games to help them just so I can get my rune arcs, but um, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people, specifically in the Dragon's Barrow, Kalid area that I've seen, that are nowhere near like geared or leveled to be running some of these fights and they just get like barely tapped and like they die. Um, and then there's been some where I've been summoned and I've ended up doing the majority of the work. So I don't know, I don't wanna be that player, but also I do think the summoning concept is pretty cool. I don't actually care, man. You play how you want to play unless you play a spell cuck. Then I'm going to bust your balls. No, I know you're just saying it. I'm just, you know, talking about, um, I think this is a really cool addition they added to the game. And I actually, like, kind of like how you can really customize um, your setup. I mean, for instance, if you're somebody, like, who's doing, like, if you, you run, like, a lightweight, like, super, super, like paper mache build but you do like a ton of damage it probably is good to like send in like five great shield soldier spirits you know and have them kind of tank some damage while you just like take people out um spellcaster builds i don't think are necessarily bad um i think it's all it's it's kind of evens out because most of the stuff you need to be like a really good mage makes it so you take more damage or have less hp or something of that sort you know um i don't think spells are broken the way that they were in dark souls 3 um, but that is coming from somebody who's pretty much one shot every mage i've come across like all you really have to do if you can dodge like that first wave of whatever they're trying to hit you with um you're fucking good Ooh, i'm getting some vibes uh, not quite an Orlando vibes, but sort of. Um, but yeah. Mages definitely seem like fun. Um, I just don't know if it's as much fun as like... Something about just being up close and personal and like running around and panic rolling. I like it. I, I know I'm not like the greatest player, but I, I don't want it to be too, too easy, you know? I actually used the best summon in the in the game at uh, plus 10 to fight the last boss of uh, Lindell. You got your summons to plus 10? That's fucking crazy. I haven't even found uh, anything above. Uh, actually, I did find an 8. I don't know where I found that, though. Um, wait, when did I get a somber 9? Holy shit. I have somber nine and eight. Holy shit. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is all I have as far as those to upgrade. I don't know. I feel like I, I just haven't even scratched the surface. Because, like, we're still here, man. Like, we have all of this to cover. Um, but we're going to do that today. It's probably going to be terrible. I don't know. I feel like I did Caelid maybe in Dragonsboro, maybe a little too early. Or maybe I should have, like, progressed. Uh, it's because I'm a goober who looks up all the info on the game. Got it. You're one of those... One of those Chodemeister generals, I see. Okay. Alright, so there's nothing over here. I'm just wasting my time. No. We're, uh, we're probably going to do the same thing, man. Like, for our next, um, our next run, which there will be more. Please tell me there's some sort of payout at the end of this. Uh, that's... There's an item down there, it looks like. There's no way you could survive that. That's butthole cancer. I went to collect the stuff I needed to upgrade. I mean, I totally get it. Um, like, from an optimization point, I would love to just be able to, like, say I'm plus 10. Um, do you know anything about the scaling? Um, what, like, scaling of weapon does to, like, co-op? Because... I don't know if it's just the build we're using, um, but we seem to really clap people with our uh, with our katanas. Maybe because we're dual wielding, but like it seems like kind of ridiculous. It like like two of these, like we're we usually can like kill somebody unless they're geared heavy. If it's a mage, there's a good chance that me doing this running attack. And getting the cross right there um, is gonna kill him. Time for horse. Why would I want my horse? What is that? Nice. Wait, I already had those. Right. Okay. So I went to collect the stuff I need. Oh, yeah. Uh, to go fast. Yeah. I feel you, man. Um, just to go fast, you think? There's not. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get butt-touched? What's that? There's someone down there. Oh, it's just you. Just some shitty deer. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Wait, what did that say? Item ahead. Right in my head. Oh, right there. I got you. Ooh, I love those arrows. Um, I, sh I need to come back and farm up the uh, the tribal spectral dudes because they drop those arrows, and they're actually really fucking cool. Like they do a lot of damage. I haven't found an arrow that does more damage. Now, if an enemy is um, resistant to magic, doesn't really work. But for most enemies, I've found like it's a uh, like, I'm hitting for, like... Oh, hey, there's more of them right there. There's one of them dancing over there, having a concert. Cool. Really? Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, wait. That might go somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I don't see anything visible there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just hang here. We'll, we'll hang back with the stuff.
Alright, fuckers. Round two. Namaste, bitches. Hey. Stop that. Give me your arrows. Oh, I got your headband. Hey, I got arrows. They get five per kill, which is actually pretty nice. What is that? Yeah, let's uh, speed it up. Oh, wait. Is this... Oh, nice. Another one of these. Don't know what it's going to do. I think... Lighting all the flames in Syofra, it opens up something, but we haven't been there. We haven't been back there to check. It said something. Like, I, I can't remember what it was when we lit all of them. Like, we got a message. Throw your hands in the air. Lord of Blood, your eminence. I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Okay. Mogwin. So the Lord of Blood, we know of that from a uh, old white face. Uh, sure. So we were gonna jump down here, but we could just go this way, just to be safe, because the the mount kind of gets a little extra happy when it comes to. Traveling. Sometimes they move a little bit further than I want them to. Nice. Smith and five. Alright. Anything else? Uh, do do do. Wait a second. Is that Sayofra down there? I think it is. Cool. Yeah, we'll check out Sayofra after this. And then the other river, I think it's like Anzil or something like that. What is back here? Anything? Fucking game. 